Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to The Messenger. Once again, I am The Messenger, and I am just here to give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and revelation on whatever you're facing today. So I want to talk about this loyalty, and I want to read something to you, okay? I want to read this, and I, I really think this is going to help a lot of us because I experienced it this week, and... um I just want to read something to you. Disloyalty ignores the greatness in another. Absalom was the handsome son of David. He envied the splendor, popularity, and prosperity of his father. So he would stand and personally greet the people outside of the palace each day like tiny drops of poison. His words fell into the ears of the citizens of Israel. He sold uncertainty, doubt, and discord by insinuating that David was too busy to really listen to their concerns or care about their difficulties in their lives and their tears. He made himself available for them and literally stole the hearts of the people of David had led for so many years. You experienced that where people in your life, you have hanged with, you have dealt with, and all of a sudden a person on the outside looking in, watching you, getting jealous and envious of you, and start planting tiny bits of poison in other people concerning you. Okay. One of the most vile acts became his habit. He even slept with his father's concubines. Absalom did not have a character flaw. <laughs> Absalom had no character. And he flaunted his sin. He sneered at the greatness of his father. How many of you experiencing this right now? People, you know, all you doing is what you're supposed to do. You have done what you're supposed to do, and people that first meet you, you tell them about your testimony, you talk to them about God, and they instantly get jealous. I have seen this so many times, watching others do this to leaders and to people who we think is nothing. We think because they're going through their nothing. We all have trials and tribulations. And it's so many people going through this where there are other people planting poison in other people's ears about you. That's a clue that you are great. You are a great person. Don't ever think because all of a sudden people fall and stop following you and they listen to others that was in their hearts already about you you are great and you keep doing what you're supposed to do for the lord don't you ever feel bad because people coming against you and you've done nothing but good they did the same thing to jesus they are disloyal and they have no character and you have to pray for them I'm always praying for people like this that come against me like this. And it's normally because they can't um, manipulate you. They can't control you. You're not doing what they want you to do. So they become disloyal and secretly behind your back sowing discord. You pray for them. Don't confront them. Pray for them. Now, sometimes you do. If God tell you to confront them, then do so. But you guys be blessed. You continue to pray. You continue to use discernment. Because that's the important key in this season. Is using your discernment like never before. Be careful of disloyal people around you. You're welcome.